I know it's like 2013, I believe. Well, I believe the Raccoon City incident was in 1999, so if this is, uh... If Resident Evil 4... Yeah, Resident Evil 4 was six years after that, so that would be 2005. So he was 27 in 2005. So if this game takes place in 2013, that means he'd be like 35 now. Yeah. During the events of this game. So he is a little older than me. If this game takes place in 2013, I'm not sure when this game takes place. There's irony I suppose I could also look that up real quick. Resident Evil 6 take place. I'm coming to rescue him. The man who killed his father. Like I said, irony. Oh, it takes place from December 2012 to June 2013. All of the events in this game. Okay. So it starts in 2012 and ends in 2013. So yeah, he's like 34 or 35. <laughs> At least that was close. Mm-hmm. I can't let this war fall on me forever. <clears throat> I know Chris is somewhere between 46. Because he's about 10 years older than him. Mm. I... I don't think I'm ready for that. you made it this far, haven't you? All right. This is it! You ready, Boo Boo? Yes. <laughs> Let's get those picnic baskets. Who the hell has the funding to build something like this? So yeah, if you guys thought that there wasn't going to be like a gargantuan umbrella facility in this game, well, you'd be mistaken because we are now at said facility. Yeah, it's gonna rain everywhere. Hence, umbrella. <laughs> Wouldn't be Resident Evil 6 without a humongous secret lab. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be Resident Evil, like, in general. You know, I'm thinking about putting one in my game. Oh. Though, that'd be... I, I thought your game took place in, like, a really low-tech, like, medieval place or something. Well, I'm working it as I go. <laughs> <laughs> I have the legend already written in my head, it's just... I think I got it. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on the easy <laughs> stuff first, you know, by, like, implementing the story, and then once that's all done, mm -hmm. and everything else, then I'll be working on the battles, and then, you know, the whole towns and stuff like that, because I know this sounds like I'm being a moron, but I still don't know how to make, like, random people move around in random directions, or how to implement, uh... Well, that's, well, that's really easy. It, it's in the, the movement settings for the NPCs. In case if you, guys you, you, you just set it to random. In case if you, our guys are wondering what the heck we're talking about, uh, it's RPG Maker. Yeah, we're making games in RPG Maker. I've been working on a little project. I, I'm thinking of taking a break from it and maybe developing another thing on the side. But yeah. <laughs> we can't get into the air ducts with these blades going. See if you can turn them off from up there. Roger that. Okay, it's off. Roger, I'm going in. Oh, for Christ's sake! I'll see what I find here. Wait for the man. Roger that. Pierce. I got another set of blades in the way. Come on, just give me a minute. Pierce, I got another set of blades in the way. Come on, just I have no clue where I'm going because of this small, tiny screen. Uh, use the locator. 
you have to you have to get rid of these fan blades in my way somehow. Oh, okay. Thank you. I just couldn't see where I was going, literally, because somebody kept shooting at me. Thank you, Mr. Bug. Pierce, I've restored power to the elevator. I'll run these bullets up ahead. Well, we got no hope now. I'm not doing too much better myself. And we're dead. I hate it when that thing knocks me down. Okay, get to the elevator. Lord power to the elevator. Here, go to the elevator. Oh wait, oh that's wait, wait, is that Oh, I'm supposed to go up the elevator. Those turrets are really annoying. I hear ya. Okay, I'm here now. Pretty good. It's long gone. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Did I destroy the elbow of the door? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Yay, temporary invisibility. Invent in and in, in, yeah, invincibility. <laughs> I sound like a staggering moron. <laughs> Suck on that. Meow. Where am I going? Oh. Good job missing with the rocket, dumb enemy. Okay, let's quickly get in here. Oh, it, the elevator's coming down. Oh, there it is. Oh, great. Hey. You're not on the elevator party list. Oh, no. Oh, no. I remember this. Oh, no. Mem memories are coming back now. I still remember this part. You got another plate to come for? No. I throw it's right there in the trash. Oh, okay. Thanks, Grandpa. Thank you. I don't remember specifically what happens in this part, but I have bad memories all of a sudden. Like a bad feeling about this. A good sign, bad feeling, bad memories. It's just not a good sign. I miss the sign of getting old. Connection is complete. Oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> you know what? Let's just run around. Dude, let's just run around and avoid them. That's the best thing to do. Run circles around the room like an idiot. Ah! Sorry. Oh my... Oh, I can't believe that scared me. Oh, that was so loud and high-pitched. Like, out of nowhere. You were just like... Ah, yeah! I'm like, what the heck was that? Like, I'm wearing my... It's like I'm wearing my headset. Like my like 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 my headset blocks out most outside. Well, it doesn't really block out your voice, but it quiets you down. And like that loud noise just like ripped through my headset. I'm like. I told you I would get him to scream. 
Oh, shut up. You, you, you didn't plan that to make that scream. You just had a... To make me scream. You just had a lucky coincidence. Wow, you know what? This, hey, this plan is actually working. But you screamed. You totally screamed. Dude, shut up. I'm sorry, man. But you have to admit that was pretty epic. <laughs> Crap. Oh well, at least we have full health now. Engaging airlock. Connection to research block initiated. Please wait until the connection is complete. I really have a good idea for a name for this episode. Resident, welcome to Resident Evil whatever. I scream. <laughs> no. Yes, it's me. Or should I say, was me. Consider this my little parting gift to you. If you've made it this far, I'm assuming you are PSA. If anything, it'll definitely definitely be an amusing episode. Aren't all these episodes actually pretty amusing just because of our fail? Into a new Thanks, cutscene. Last and greatest creation. He will thrive in the ashes of the burning. Hello, ladder. Jump off ladder. Climb ladder. <laughs> Oh, uh, the snipers could still get you. And they just did. <laughs> yeah, but they didn't kill me. They're gonna kill you. No, snipers can get top side. So we're on our own. Alright, let's get Jake and Sherry the hell out of here. Come on. Roger. Okay, 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Fourteen. Thirteen. Twelve. Eleven. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Okay, that's it. Wait. Wait, wait, come here. Where are you? Okay, there we go. Good. I healed us both. <laughs> I didn't want to have to use that here, but yeah. I want to get past this part. This is like the most cowardly way to play Resident Evil 7, but I don't even care. Let's at least try to get rid of these snipers. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that worked. Would you please stop knocking me down? A bunch of nasties over there. Let's get back down. Oh, here's the ladder. Oh, you're already back down. And now you're going back up. Ugh, I hope there's not a third countdown that I'm forgetting. Hey, um... Ah, uh, darn it, I don't know what door opens. Just run around in a circle and hope you don't get hit. I, I think it's this door right here. Pressure normalized. Connection procedures complete. Disengaging the safety lock. Yes. Come on! Come on, man! Yes! Whew. That room sucks. Oh, hey, oh, good. Oh, goody, we're at this part. Remember this part. <laughs> You're okay. 
Wait, was that you who just freed us? Looks like you guys saved the day again, huh? I can see your father in you. How did you know? Wait, what... hold on a second. I see you know him. At least I found a good Indian name for you. Very fast fox runs very quickly. on that puppy. This is between me and him. Go ahead. Shoot. You have every right to. <laughs> Just promise me you'll survive. The world depends on it. Who the hell are you to tell me what to do? Stop it! Put your gun down! Now! Tell me. We just following orders? Or was it personal? Both. Give me Jake, a please before stop. I put a bullet just in your put head. Put your gun down. Drop your Don't weapon. Don't do this. at stake than you and me. We gotta go! Jake! I know! <laughs> Puts one bullet in the wall, entire facility starts collapsing. See what I mean? Actually, that's not the real reason the facility is collapsing. The, the, the real reason for that will be, uh, f we'll, we'll, we'll see that during Jake's campaign. But yeah, that's for later. <laughs> if you're playing Chris's campaign, though, it, it looks like that bullet in the wall triggered it, but it's not really why. Oh man, dude, you remember this part, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Running away from this thing here in a little bit. Oh man. This is gonna suck. If I remember correctly, the mistake we were making is that we weren't shooting him. I believe you need to shoot him a bit to slow him down at one point. But that's not quite yet. We have to get through another enemy standoff first while this thing is going up. This world safe. He was still his father. The kid had the right to know. Well, I'll tell you this much. I can't say I've lacked for adventure working with you. Sorry. I know it's never been easy being my partner. Once we get out of here, all that's gonna change. You're not a Javo. You know, I was thinking about uploading um, the RE6 videos up on my, uh, I was going to say Zip Gas, but then I kind of forgot what it was. Well, you can do it if you want. Of course. <laughs> Besides, I don't want to think about that asshole or my father right now. I'm going to worry about them if and when we get out of here. Oh! <laughs> 
Alright. That might be enough time to finish this campaign. Providing we don't constantly die. Well, if I remember right, after this segment, it's like right into the final boss fight, so... Yeah. Well, let's try not to die this time! Let's get what he got! Yeah! You did what was right! You kept this world safe! He was still his father. The kid had the right to know. At least I have plenty of ammo <laughs> for the final boss. Black for adventure working for you. Sorry, I know it's never been easy being my partner. Once we get out of here, all that's gonna change. Listen, Jake. Spare me the lecture, all right? We need to find a way out of here. There's only time to look. Have you ever noticed these these things look a lot like Alien from Alien Resurrection? They don't look anything like Alien. I mean, they their colors are kind of the same, but the actual design is nothing like the Alien. <sighs> Thanks for that. Yes, yeah, screw you and your rockets. <laughs> There will never be a better use for flash grenades. Better heal. Ah, better than nothing. Wait, can we finally checkpoint? Yes!